Hi, welcome to Awkward Hamster. Today we'll be taking a look at this Rofi dog training collar. The model is T20. I'm going to show some pages from the user manual. Besides what I'm showing here, the only other booklet or card was a warranty card. If you want to read any part of the user manual in more detail, feel free to pause the video. There are three different options for this. There's vibration, there's the zap, and there's a beep. Now, I will not be showing the zap. My dog is too young for it, and she's not unmanageable. And it goes over the same information in other languages. It's charged using a micro USB cable. Both of these have micro USB ports. It came with one micro USB cable. It doesn't take long to charge. It charges like about two hours. This is part of the zap collar. Oh, these two. If I want to use the zap functionality, I'll then screw that here. It also came with this, but I'm not quite sure how this is used. It looks like a fuse. Here's the collar that goes on the dog. Here's the micro USB port. Press this to turn it on. There's only two channels. It's channel one, I'll just refer to it as channel one and channel two. Turn this unit on, the power button's over here. And these buttons, they are to increase the intensity or decrease the intensity of the zap. Let me just first turn this on. On top of the collar, there's an LED indicator. And I'm just press the power button for about six or seven seconds. I'm gonna let go. Now cycling between red and green. Then on here, I'm just gonna press like the the B button. Just trying to pair with the the collar. So now if I press beep again, it's beeping. If I press this, it's vibration. And if I had the zap hooked up, if I press this, it will then zap the dog. Mine's currently set to channel one. If I were to flip it to channel two, and then press the beep, nothing happens. Head back to channel one here. There's no volume adjustment for the beep. If I were to press the up or down arrows, this is just adjusting it for the zap functionality. Now, let's take a look at the collar itself. Nice thick band. It's, it's all silicon, very soft silicon, slippery too. Even the remote is made out of like that same type of silicon. My dog is pretty well behaved. The only thing is she doesn't understand where not to go yet in the front yard. I have a fence in my backyard. So for example, she's just there very peaceful. I would her go beep. Her head just went, huh, what's going on? I'll zoom in a bit. And then we set it to vibrate. That got her attention. So I'm not trying to hurt the dog. I'm not going to be using the, the shock functionality. But for the other function, that's just more to give dog pause. If a dog was running away, it's got a thousand feet outdoor range. And the cotter is also weather resistant. They say it's waterproof, but no way I'm going to let my dog swim with this on. Now, even though she's maybe 50, 60 feet away from me, if I press this, beep, oop, she heard that beep. The weather's nicer, so we take the dog out every day. And most of the time, we just let the dog roam around the backyard. But when we do need to have the dog go to the front yard, we definitely keep this remote by our side. My dog weighs around seven pounds and she's able to carry the car around without any sort of problem. The remote control itself is also very light. The remote control is also very slippery. I have dropped it, it still works. I don't have any qualms about it other than it's just being slippery. Now, Rofi did send me this unit to review. I, as I mentioned, I did not test the shock functionality. My dog is pretty well behaved, so I don't need to shock her. It's more of the beep just to let her rethink when she's charging at the fence or trying to get out of the yard. I don't want her getting, getting to the street and getting hurt. 
I'll place the link to this item below. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Uncle Hamster. Bye.